next question we have is how to treat frequent chest and sinus infections with breathing. Yes, and I had actually dozens of students, many, many students, because breathing retraining is particularly common, uh, commonly used uh, by people who have, for example, asthma, chronic bronchitis, cystic fibrosis, COPD, and other respiratory especially conditions, problems with sinuses, also a lot of people use breathing retraining. And here, what is done is, uh, if we are able to retrain our breathing even halfway to the medical norm, Already this is enough um, to fix most serious chest and sinus infection. And here I, I would like to explain like this kind of the process in more details. The whole process is of course really complicated because what we are talking about here is how we change our automatic breathing pattern, the way we breathe day and night in order to improve our body oxygen level. And from medical viewpoint here, we know that when people hyperventilate, so-called like chronic hyperventilation, which is present according to uh, dozens of medical studies in, I would say, probably 97, 99% of modern population, people like breathe much more than the norm. Uh, breathing retraining allows them to slow down breathing and improve body oxygen level. So we use a body oxygen test. It, it, is, it is also called the control post test. And the control pause is our breath holding time. If you exhale, exiting at rest, you have ordinary exhalation, and you pinch the nose and count breath holding time, but without any stress. That's really important. We don't push ourselves, we don't get any stress. And this time is the main parameter that we use in order to evaluate the physical health of a person. So what happens here is, since I had many, many students, and I've seen a lot of people who had frequent chest or sinus infection, sometimes both of them, all these people would have commonly uh, less than 15 seconds for the body oxygen test, which is a very low number, because the normal number should be about 40 seconds, like medical physiological norm. So these people have very low oxygen level because of the chronic hyperventilation. We breathe too much, often with a chest, at night we breathe even more, and that causes suppression of the immune system. And as a result of suppression of the immune system, like the mechanism probably most likely relates to cell hypoxia because when we hyperventilate, and that's again manifested in low result for the body oxygen test, that means oxygen level in cells very low, lactic acid and other metabolic products starts to produce in cells, free radicals, and that distracts attention of our immune system so that instead of addressing problems with viruses, bacteria and other germs in our lungs, and in our sinuses, the immune system becomes busy fixing problems due to uh, chronic hypoxia or cell or tissue hypoxia. And therefore, the immune system is suppressed and these pathogens, we take advantage of this situation of the suppressed immune system and we start to cause frequent chest and sinus infections and sometimes in some people it can be both of them together. So therefore, the way we use here to treat chest and sinus infection is to use breathing retraining. We slow down our breathing using lifestyle, and it relates to doing breathing exercises, maybe up to one, two hours a day, especially with breathing devices, because with breathing devices we can use essential oils, and that is very beneficial for chest infections. And then we use physical exercise with 100% nose breathing all the time during all exercise, plus many lifestyle changes which are also like uh, uh, targeted in order to slow down our breathing. And as a result of this process, student starts to improve their body oxygen level, maybe in a week time, depends on a person, two, three, five seconds improvement, another week, two, three, five seconds. So eventually they get to the numbers more than 20 seconds, day and night. So in the morning, when we do morning body oxygen test, daytime, we would have even higher numbers. And at this level, which is what I found practically, and so with doctors who use this technique, like 200 doctors tested, like, more than half million people in Russia, they found totally the same effect that when people achieve certain level, the problems, major problems with frequent chest and sinus infections disappear completely. So this is like the whole process, the description of the whole process, but of course like this is a short form because it takes much longer time for a person, it requires again doing correctly breathing exercises, using physical exercise, lifestyle changes. Correcting sleep, like don't sleep on the back, tape mouth at night, a lot of people with 
uh, chest and sinus infections. Of course, sinus is one sinus subblock we breathe through the mouth at night. So we need to learn how to take mouth at night. And there are many other techniques, factors and methods which are very individual because for some people certain things can be very important, for some other people it may be not so important which relates to different things, for example, grounding, earthing, maybe some nutritional supplementation is necessary for some students, especially magnesium, maybe calcium, magnesium, vitamin D, some others, so depending again on the person and situation. But the general idea and here totally natural solution of problems again with both frequent chest and frequent sinus infections is to slow down our breathing pattern closer to the medical norm. We do not even need to achieve because these conditions, sinusitis, for example, bronchitis, uh, other people who maybe with cystic fibrosis, other conditions who have these infections very often, we do not need even to achieve the norm. And there is, these conditions, these symptoms uh, respond very fast to breathing retaining. And this is one of the reasons why uh, this breathing retraining techniques, for example, Buteyka, Prolog device in Russia, there are several other, some Asdraft, Carbonic, some other breathing devices which are used by thousands and thousands of people and many, many doctors also involved in this work. These conditions respond very fast and this is also one of the reasons why, again, these techniques are particularly commonly uh, used by people who have frequent uh, sinus and chest infections.